Brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We begin our celebration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the first book of Samuel. There was a certain man from Ramathen, Elkanah by name, a Zophite from the hill country of Ephraim. He was the son of Jeroham, son of Elihu, son of Tohu, son of Zub, an Ephraimite. He had two wives, one named Hannah, the other Penina, Benina had children, but Hannah was childless. This man regularly went on pilgrimage from his city to worship the Lord of hosts and to sacrifice to him at Shiloh, where the two sons of Eli, Hophni, and Phinehas were ministering as priests of the Lord. When the day came from Elkanah to offer a sacrifice, he used to give a portion each to his wife, Penina, and to all her sons and daughters, but a double portion to Hannah because he loved her, though the Lord had made her barren. Her rival, to upset her, turned it into a constant reproach to her that the Lord had left her barren. This went on year after year. Each time they made their pilgrimage to the sanctuary of the Lord, Penina would approach her, and Hannah would weep and refuse to eat. Her husband Elkanah used to ask her, Hannah, why do you weep and why do you refuse to eat? Why do you grieve? Am I not more to you than ten sons? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good He has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all His people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst. O Jerusalem. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. Please stand.
kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Then they left their nets and followed him. He walked along a little farther and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat, mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat along with the hired men and followed him. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Ang basa ko po sa ating mga pagbasa sa araw na ito ay ang ating mga pagbasa ay patungkol sa mga panimula mga simulain. At dahil patungkol ito sa mga simula at mga simulain, napaka uh, akmang-akma nito para sa ating lahat na nagsisimula ng bagong taon. Ito ay patungkol sa simula na sapagkat katitignan natin, ang Ibanghelyo natin ay nagsasabi patungkol sa simula ng ministry ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Ito yung unang pagkakataon na siya ay nagpahayag ng patungkol sa kaharian ng Diyos. Ito din, ang Ibanghelyo ay patungkol sa panimula o simulain sapagkat kinikwento dito yung simula ng bagong yugto ng buhay ng mga apostoles no, ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Ito yung unang pagkakataon na nagtagpo ang mga apostoles ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Kaya nung tinawag, sila ay sumunod. Kaya nga ang basa ko sa mga pagbasa natin ay ito ay yung patungkol sa mga simula at simulain. Kaya nga akmang-akma sa atin ito. Akmang-akma kasi alam natin tayo ay nagsisimula. At para sa atin ang pagsisimula ay napaka-importante. Ang pagsisimula ay mahirap, challenging, ika nga. Naalala ko nga nung ako ay nagsisimula pa lamang sa aking buhay pagpapari. Hindi madali. Iniwanan ko ang aking pamilya, naging malayo sila sa akin, bagong lugar ang pinuntahan ko, ibang mga tao ang kasama ko. Panimula. Ganun naman siguro talaga, di ba? Siguro tayo din nakaranas ng mga simulain. Siguro nagsimula tayo ng negosyo, nagsimula tayo ng business, nagsimula tayo ng ating pamilya, nagsimula tayong maging magulang. Yun yung mga moments na medyo kinakabahan tayo. Medyo nangangapa tayo, ika nga. Challenging. Challenging. Pero, kailangan natin magsimula. Kasi kung hindi tayo magsisimula, wala tayong matatapos. Wala tayong goal na mapupuntahan. Kaya importante din talaga yung pagsisimula. No, kahit pa ito ay challenging. Ngayon, ano yung ino-offer ng gospel? sa sa mga simulain o sa mga uh, bagay-bagay na gusto nating simulan sa mga buhay natin. Ang ini-offer sa tingin ko ng gospel sa atin, ng mabuting balita ng ating Panginoong Diyos, ay ito. Na sa bawat panimula o simulain ng gusto nating tahakin sa ating buhay, maganda na kasama ang ating Panginoong Diyos, ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Ang magandang balita is, ang ating Panginoong Diyos at ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo laging nandyan. Handang-handang samahan tayo sa mga simulain ng buhay natin. Ngayon ang tanong ay, gusto ba natin kasama siya? At ang panyaya, isama natin siya. Kaya nga siguro, ano, 
nung tayo mga bata, pati nuturuan tayo na bawat simulain ng activities natin, eh, dapat maganda sana na nandyan ang ating Panginoong Diyos sa pamamagitan ng pagdarasal. Pagkagising sa umaga, magdasal. Bago kumain, magdasal. Kayo din po ba nung kayo nasa klase dati, bago magsimula ang klase, nagdarasal din? Parang halos lahat sinasama ang ating Panginoong Diyos sa simula o sa penimulain ng mga activities. Ito sa tingin ko ang paanyaya ng Ibanghelyo sa araw na ito. Nakita natin na nung ang mga apostoles ay nagsimula ng kanilang bagong pamumuhay, kasama nila ang ating Panginoong Diyos, kasama nila ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Kaya sa tingin ko, yun ang paanyaya. Ngayon ang tanong, sa ang aspeto ng ating buhay na pwedeng isama o isasama natin ang ating Panginoong Diyos, ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo? Sa tingin ko, sa lahat ng aspeto. Sa lahat ng aspeto. Kaya nga siguro, ang ganda ng symbolism ng ating Gospels, na, ng ating gospel ngayon eh. Yung, yung mga moments na iniwanan ng mga apostoles, yung kanilang nets, yung kanilang bangka, and even yung kanilang tatay. Because somehow this shows na para sa kanila, sa panimulain na niyakap nila, mas binigyan nilang halaga ang ating Panginoong Diyos, ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. At yung mga nets, bangka, at yung tatay nila, simbolize somehow the many aspects of our lives. Important elements of our lives. Halimbawa na lamang sa inasabi ko yung net. Yung net ng mga apostoles symbolizes somehow their work. Yung kanilang hanap buhay. Yung kanilang expertise. Yung kanilang future. Even yung kanilang treasure. Yung kanilang yaman. Pero binitawan nila, no? Hindi naman siguro sinasabi sa atin, bitawan natin yung mga bagay na yon sa buhay natin. Ang sinasabi lang sa atin, isama natin lagi ang ating Panginoong Diyos sa mga aspeto na yon ng buhay natin. Yung hanap buhay, yung mga talents natin, yung mga kayamanan natin, laging nandyan sana ang ating Panginoong Diyos. Yun yun na sinisumbulo ng mga nets. Ano yung isa pa? Yung bangka. Yung bangka somehow symbolizes yung ating mga desisyon sa buhay. Alam niyo po nung sa panahon ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, kung meron kang bangka, ay you can go anywhere. You can go anywhere. You can decide on your own. Meron kang somehow freedom to do whatever you want and to decide for yourself. Kasi you can move dahil meron kang minsan transportation. Kaya nga sa tingin ko, yung moment na binitawan nila yung bangka symbolizes na yung kanilang capacity to decide, itong mga apostles, eh inuna muna nila o nilagay nila yung presensya ng ating Panginoong Diyos, yung Panginoong Heso Kristo sa bagay na yon. And that is very challenging, lalo na sa mundo natin ngayon. Ano? That somehow tells us, you decide on your own. Lahat ng gusto mo, pwedeng gawin dapat. Ah, di ba? Now the challenge is, sa mga bagay na yon, sa kapangyarihan na yon na meron tayong lahat, mas maganda, ilagay natin ang ating Panginoong Diyos. So that when we decide, ang itatanong natin, ito din kaya ang gusto ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa buhay ko. O, di ba? Ano yung pangatlo? Yung kanilang tatay. Iniwanan nila. Ang sinasabi, ma, ma, ang sinasabi sa atin ng, ng, ng symbolism ni Zebedee, yung tatay ni, ni John, ay symbolism ito ng mga relasyon natin sa buhay. Tayong lahat merong relasyon sa buhay. That is why we say no, there is no, no man is an island. Lahat merong connection sa ibang tao. Lahat merong relasyon. Ang sinasabi sa atin, maganda na sa mga relasyon natin sa buhay, nandyan lagi ang ating Panginoong Diyos. Nandyan lagi ang ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo. Kaya magandang tanongin o isipin, ano, sa mga relasyon na meron ako ngayon, sa relasyon na yan, ikinatutuwa ba ng Panginoong Diyos yan? Masaya ba ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo dyan? Yan yung mga simbolism na yon. Kaya siguro mga kapatid, ang hamon sa atin sa araw na ito ay ilagay lagi 
ang ating Panginoong Diyos sa mga simulain ng buhay natin. Kaya magandang pagnilay-nilayan, magandang tanungin ang ating mga sarili, ano ba yung mga nasimulan ko na? Sa mga nasimulan ko na na bagay na yon, nandyan ba ang ating Panginoong Diyos, ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo? Kung wala siya, ang magandang balita sa atin, ready siyang pumasok sa buhay natin. Kahit wala siya sa simula, nandyan siya, ready na pumasok sa buhay natin. Nasa sa atin na lamang yon kung tatanggapin natin siya. Kaya nga, ang ganda ng sinabi niya, no? The kingdom of God is at hand. Nasa sa kamay na natin ang kaharian ng Diyos, ang presensya ng Diyos. Nasa atin na lang ngayon kung panghahawakan natin yung bagay na yun. At dun sa mga gusto nating simulan, ano ba yung mga gusto nating simulan sa taon na ito? Kasama ba ang ating Panginoong Diyos, ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo sa mga simulain na yan? Magsitayo po tayong lahat. As a people chosen by God, let us present before our Father the needs of all people. In every petition, let our answer be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors called by God to be fishers of men may face the challenge of renewal by preaching the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That missionaries may become effective proclaimers of the gospel by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those called by our Lord to His service may respond generously to His call. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may touch the sick, the sorrowing, the troubled, and those who suffer in mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may live in the Lord's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in the silence of our hearts, we offer our personal and our particular intentions. And we also pray for the intentions of this Mass. Lord God, make us fit to carry out any task you wish us to do by the strength of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they, de what they devoutly entreat. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, 
you created the human race. So also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please be. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his Assistant Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please me. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should, that you should enter, enter under my roof, under my roof but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus et Sanguinis Christi custodiat me in vita eterna. May the body and blood of Christ bless it upon us. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Together we pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments 
may also serve with lives pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bago po tayo magtapos ng ating misa, ako po ay magpapasalamat sa ating lector commentator, sa ating acolyte and Eucharistic minister, at sa inyong lahat po na nakiisa sa misa nito, maraming maraming salamat. Ingat po tayo sa ating pag-uwi at, at nawabaunin niyo po ang pagpapala ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating mahal na ina, ang Birhen ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag. Huli po, maraming maraming salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailties. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.